It is time once again to enter the heart of darkness of Target Clear. Right, so we've done this, we've done that, we've done that. So we've got white spaces. There's plenty of ways to do the white space one. Uh, it's likely that the white space maybe might be one of the, was it like the five pointer? How big is this? 2025, uh, 5 and 8, a 12 and a 14. So I think the 12 and the 14, yeah, this is coming soon um right but the next thing i want to do is the next one in there and that's exponentials so it's uh t3 accept x ex exponents x ex powers and i'm going to use carrots that's the standard thing although sometimes you do see star star but star star is two characters so like that's the end of complexity um in fact well speaking of like two characters there's like some assumptions baked in uh no no Poof, uh, T3. There are some assumptions baked in the way the code is architectured that makes me think that although the brackets would have made a pretty good complex, I mean, we have 14, but like, uh, anyway, but like the, the, the exponents is likely to kind of come up. Um, I think that's a, that's not, it's not unreasonable to train on it, so let's do that now. Um, right, so what we have, when I enter uh, my user input, play game, user input, uh, the first thing we do is check if the user input is valid, which uh, there's the, that's nice, the kind of outline in a bit bigger again. Uh, remove terminal. Check if user input is valid with the, no, not this one. It's like the order in which this is, frankly, <laughs> is one of the many things that's offensive about this code. Oh my God. Seriously. All right. Uh, this one, right? Right, so here we have a regular expression that will contain, um, you know, validate against, validate against, yeah, digits. Well, actually, it's, it's not just kind of, it contains digits and operators. It contains like a kind of valid um, expression. So what we want to do here is this double escape because we are escaping it because it's a special character, but also we are escaping it within a bracket. It's complicated. Anyway, so not question that, like, you know, when you see some code, repeat, like, kind of imitate what you see. Uh, so it's uh, not this one, because I'm in, am I in, ah, uh, my keyboard's in a, no, my keyboard's in, just my keyboard's confusing me. I got a PC keyboard plugged into a Mac. Okay, that's the backspace, and then caret. So this is going to accept caret as an operator, and then followed by da, da, da. That's one. Once we've checked that the user input is valid, we, that's not here. We, we, all right. Convert it to RPN. Now, this I think might. Uh, uh, yes, yes. So this is this is where we want to have. Uh, I'm just gonna follow the logic. They seem to be double. Uh, if I can go six or I can go eight, but really five will be enough. There's nothing, you know. It's bot mass. There's nothing that. Well, the brackets actually are first, but the brackets are not operators. When we do the brackets, we're not going to do them as <clears throat> operators because no operation of the bracket. The brackets only drive the order of evaluation, which is when we do convert to RPN. Uh, we're going to need to kind of like yeah, use the stack a bit differently. Uh, in here, I'm adding caret uh, and this as a six, eight, right? Let's keep the powers of two. It's nice and I think so this is not uh okay they don't put yeah space after but not before you can have code inconsistently then once we've converted to rpn uh this will take care of like building the rpn expression that's not touched because it's just numbers allowed and to check the user evaluation is a target this is where we have evaluate rpn and this is where we simply need to add it here which again we would have validated Oh, sorry. So as long as it's not an operator, then that's a, you know that's we pop and push to the whatever. Um, so it's an operator, and we behave accordingly. And then here we'll just want an elif. Just like literally, just to kind of copy copy this code. Um, and if it's a caret, we uh, we it is caret in Python, right? <laughs> Uh, two to the power of three. Hello. Uh, maybe it's it's that in Python actually. Yeah, it's star star in Python. Fair enough. Um, 
Yes, that's what actually the Q on the carrot, because if you've learned Python or new Python, you would know SR. So what does what is this? I don't know, and I'm not going to get distracted as to what, what's going on there. So if uh, the operator is a carrot, we are going to elevate num1 to the power of num2, and that should be pretty much it. So to test this, I'm going to control D my word of this and run it here. Now, let's see if there is, say, uh, you know, a kind of cube. I was going to say a square or a cube, but like really a power. It's something in the in the training game, the test game. Uh, let's see. Uh, I wish I had not. It's such a... I remember it being quite tricky. Wait, wait. There's something to be done with the 512 because it's a power of 2, right? Do we have any powers of 2 here? Because oh, we need to divide it. Um, right, so... Um, you know what? <laughs> just uh, let's just do that again with a random game. Do I see a? Oh man! Oh, I don't have the duplicates. So um, can I do four to the power of? No, because I can't do four. I don't have brackets, so I can't do four to the power of. Like ah, this is so annoying because I get a sixteen there. That would be very nice. What if I just? use up I'm going to use up some numbers until I get something I can work with uh, there's a power of 2, 4 to the power of 2 no, the 4 to the power of 2 is going to be 16, yes, no, yes 4 to the power of 2, cool so, carrot 2 and it it did work, right? like so there was the 8 and the 16, and it took care of the 16 so we have done, we have correctly done the thing that we meant to do, and the exact diff would be Go compare. I heard that the go compare guy with the moustache uh, has lost his job, essentially. I don't know. Um, it's kind of moot at this stage. Right. So we have added the carrot operator here to support it in the conversion, in the precedence order. We've added it here for devaluation to distinguish it, to distinguish an operand that is not an operator. We've added the case to actually evaluate. And then we also validate as, have I? I don't understand what I've done because I feel like I'm. I feel like I've changed. This should be like the pristine original without my comments. Oh, fine, I can always get whatever. I'm, uh, let's, let's keep this one short. And then we simply also have. Um, yeah, I did it to the user input validation. So they kind of in slightly reverse order because in fact the way it runs in the code, the carrot will first confront this. I mean, you you could tell. You could like put a breakpoint and so on. But it's useful to know that like, you know, which are the places in which we have this. This is evidently something that should be abstracted higher up, right? You could store a I'm afraid I, I, they, they've made a point of not using globals. I guess you could be passing it through like, you know, back and forth in the function as you do. Uh, but you could simply have a global. Uh, you could would, you would keep this as a global. And then because you can use dictionary dot keys uh, to just get the keys then you could handle things like this, right? Uh, saying not in dictionary, you know, operators, precedence, dot keys. And then you could probably build the regular expression for this bit out of it, but like this is, it gets tricky. And then for your logic evaluation, all bets are off. But at least, you know, it, it's nice to know not to change into any places. This is if you wanted to make it better. So, uh, well, I guess that's it. This was quite, quite a short one. I mean, I kind, of, I kind of managed to make it still eight minutes. Uh, I'm going to, oh, actually, I'm going to... Uh, Uh, did you know what? I'm gonna uh, fine. I've got a GUI to, to get, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this instead. Uh, this is gonna work in progress. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna add this to the thing, and put uh, support exponents, association exponentials, exponents, exponents, powers, whatever. Right. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm looking. I'm meant to be looking here. Ah, I've just I've, uh, I've yeah. You don't. I'm, I was just kind of yeah, committing to GitHub and then pushing. Have I pushed? Oh man, I just is it this one? Maybe it's this. This one? Yeah, so now if you yeah, no, seriously, I mean like the reason for this, the 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 link is in uh the description of the video but if you have a look at let's not look at all of my repositories this is very shameful uh aq i surely i've got it in my 
What? Dash target? Dash clear? I had it published. I mean, it was working yesterday. 11. Yeah, I always have put it on one word. Sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> I've gone back and forth on this one, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then we see my T3 one minute ago. Cool. So you can go there and if you want to see the code, but really, you could follow along the video or whatever. I should probably have put this at the top so that if you don't want to follow along the video, you, you could have got there and see the code. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, not that you have necessarily to the end, but here we are.